first clip shows the driver just launching themselves onto the path without stopping as they exit the car park. And one thing I want to really point out here is the absolutely abysmal sight lines to the left as drivers come out of this car park. Uh, that's partly because of uh, shrubbery that's been allowed to grow up next to the building, but also because of the uh, really poor decision to put the car park entrance and exit right next to the building. Uh, if the um, Obviously if the uh, exit had been moved, um, say, 5 or 10 metres further up the hill, uh, that would have allowed drivers to have much better sight lines as they're coming out. But I guess Council decided to approve a design that um, prioritised car parking spaces over safety. Now, there's absolutely nothing that can be done about that now, really, but you can certainly do something about the sight lines in both directions, and, and one would be to... Uh, certainly clear the shrubbery to the left as the driver's coming out and also to clear it to the right and even think about removing the, uh, the fence there. Uh, the other thing would be to put up some uh, mirrors at the exit here so that drivers could actually see round the corner without having to launch themselves onto the path to see if there's anyone on it. The second clip shows a driver turning into the car park as they're heading towards Birkenhead and uh, obviously they're, uh, and they just don't give way. And you can hear me uh, grabbing the brakes to avoid going to the side of them uh, as, uh, as I'm coming through here. Um, now the road regulations uh, part 74 does say that uh, drivers need to give way to anyone on the path or as they're turning into a road related area. Um, I'm not sure if you know that's clear to everybody. Um, and certainly you, you do get quite a number of drivers that uh, just decide they're going to push across here, they'll uh, just bully their way through and uh, bugger anyone coming in, in either direction. And I don't think they realise that uh, cyclists coming down the hill especially can be you know, moving at a, uh, you know, much farther, faster than pedestrians and uh, they don't care about braking distances, they just want to get in and out of the car park. Um, I'm not exactly sure what council can do about that, apart from maybe uh, stopping people turning in from this direction and only allowing entry into the car park coming from the other direction. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, either way, uh, you know, drivers need to turn their heads to look at what's on the path uh, coming either way. Uh, it's you know, a bit of a conundrum, really. But uh, yeah, getting, getting out of the car park, I think, is worse than going in um, because uh, you know, coming out, your sight lines are impeded so badly. One thing I'll add to this though is the pressure on drivers that are heading towards Birkenhead on days when there's heaps and heaps of traffic. I've come around here on the weekends and counted um, over 50 vehicles just sitting there trying to get into Birkenhead with the track. And you know, if you live in the area, you know what it's like on the weekend. Uh, this, this place turns into absolute gridlock. Now you've also got lots of traffic coming out of Birkenhead along here. So if you're trying to turn into the car park, um, you know, you're as a driver you're under a lot of pressure because the, you're trying to get through a gap in the cars that are coming towards you and, and there's a lot of cars coming towards you and the gaps are few and far between. So there's a big incentive there that as soon as they see a gap in the vehicle traffic they're just going to turn right into the car park and bugger anyone that's on the path. Um, they just have to get out of your way. You just, they just make you scatter. It's like Mr. Toad uh, you know, driving through the laneways. Um, and, and that is the big issue with allowing people to turn right into the car park. Um, it's okay, you know, the rest of the week when there's not much traffic and there's not a lot of people on the Bay Run and um, you can turn quite safely. Uh, but certainly on the weekends, this is a real danger point. Now, uh, as I said, if you stop people turning right, if you put an island down the middle there, you would um, mitigate uh, that risk um, because people coming um, from Birkenhead, uh, you know, it's a, it's a much safer, safer turn for them. They're not under the same pressure of having to find a gap in the traffic to turn into the car park. This next clip is all about showing how quickly a car can appear as you're coming along the path here. You know, I'm just riding along sedately and suddenly, boom, there's a car. I mean, it, it happens as quickly as that. Now, in this instance, the driver has stopped exactly where they should stop, but I think that's more because there's a red car coming down the hill that wants to turn in, and they're waiting for that car to go in rather than waiting for me. Uh, no happy result either, either way, but uh, um, I think what this shows is that if drivers fail to stop there, if they just go you know, barreling straight out, that you have absolutely no reaction time a lot of the time to pull up. And, and that's the issue. If there's... Um, 
if there's a stop sign there, if there's a warning sign to tell drivers as they're exiting the car park that they have to give way to anything on the footpath, um, and especially if there's a speed hump across there, then at least it will slow people down coming out of the car park, and it will give you. And even if they just then still continue across the path, it at least gives you time to either brake or take um, uh, to manoeuvre to go around them, and uh, and that's definitely what's missing at the moment. The next clip is me riding through here with my 14 year old son and I'm just uh, giving him a bit of an education about um, watching out at, uh, at the car park because um, what I've shown here is just a small number of the um, incidents or incidents yeah, that I've had um, with drivers just charging across here without looking and without stopping and um, you know I'm passing on to him that knowledge that he's got to be careful as he comes through here and, and watch for cars and, and be on the brakes and uh, you know not just go charging through. Unfortunately you know there's a lot of people who don't understand that this is an issue and uh, they go riding around here with their kids or they let the kids ride around on their own and and they're just uh, they're oblivious to that the, this is a problem and you know the issue is that without that knowledge uh, you know one day someone's going to get cleaned up here with a driver just uh, impatiently charging out of the car park um, as we saw the other day and uh, and taking someone out um, and you know the the bay run is the premier uh, walking cycling you know skateboarding exercise area um, in in our area it's probably one of the, the, the best ones in, a, in uh, New South Wales and it's used by lots and lots of families uh, including you know um, parents you know, families going out with young kids is you know from five or six years old on bikes and we we need to put something in here we need a safe system here that will um, prevent collisions um, at this intersection and we certainly don't have that at the moment get two kids on the back so see how that car's turning left turning left keep going just watch out for them turning in here because they're supposed to give way. Not all of them do. You just got to be careful through here. And my final clip's uh, really here for giggles. Um, and it shows a cyclist coming out of the car park. I guess they've been for a swim. And they, <laughs> they come out without stopping or, or watching. And you don't hear it on the clip, but the uh, the guy stops and he, and he says sorry. And I go, yeah, no worries, mate, because... Um, you know, this is obviously a very, uh, you know, low risk, uh, you know, low speed thing. Um, and there was, yeah, absolutely no danger here. It's not like he's in a Pajero or some other great big four wheel drive and has come charging out without looking. Um, you know, happy result here. But uh, um, unfortunately, uh, you know, most people drive to the pool rather than ride. Um, so you don't have, you know, kind of safe, happy little um, uh, incidents like this. You have. Um, ones that are very high risk to pedestrians and cyclists.